Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am the Poverty Princess. And tonight I am going to show you how to make, I guess you could say in bulk, a really healthy, really tasty summer treat. I have been making them for several years and that is parfaits. I started making them when we were living on Broad Street. Um, yeah, almost five years ago, actually. My neighbor had berries on her side of the fence when they came through on our side. They were raspberries, I believe. And I was eating them. And I got the idea one day. I had some cute little parfait glasses from Dollar Tree. So I crushed some graham cracker, added some Cold Whip, did some layering, froze them, and voila, I made some parfaits. Well, over the years, I have tweaked them a little bit. I do normally make two different ones, some using vanilla yogurt and some using Cool Whip. Obviously, because the ones with vanilla yogurt are going to be healthier with the fresh fruit, and I also like to you know, sprinkle a little bit of nuts on top. Um, just like I said, for that healthier treat, I usually try to make an equal amount of both. Alrighty, so I'm just going to plug this over a little bit. Plug this in. I know my table is cluttered because I am working on like Three different videos at once, guys. I know, I know. And just breaking these up. making sure that's flipped up and I'm just going to turn around and <coughs> chop these up of containers they're perfect size for parfaits um i wish i could remember where i got these honestly i am not sure but these have been sitting in uh, under my sink for a bit so i'm going to give these a quick washing before i do anything with them just to uh just to clean them up a little bit. All right, so I washed them all out, dried them pretty good. So now I am going to start with layering to make my parfaits. And what I'm going to do is take a clean spoon. And I'm just going to spread some, spread some honey graham cracker here, right out on the bottom. Just put enough in to coat the bottom pretty good. little piece that I didn't grind up. That's okay. See, that's the reason I do want to get myself a good blender, food processor. I uh, don't have to worry about that. All right. Next, I'm going to be using my Ready Whip. Like I said, normally I use yogurt. Vanilla yogurt seems to work the best.
just put enough in to coat the bottom. I rinsed off my blueberries and mmm. I'm just going to throw in a good handful of them. You don't have to cover like all the yogurt or Cool Whip up with them, but eh, put enough in that you do taste the blueberry when you dig a spoon in. I'll eat that one. Waste not, want not. Mmm. That's exactly what I am doing. Adding some more crushed graham cracker over. Blueberries. Another spray of Cool Whip. And now I'm going to add some strawberry. Like I said, I was really bummed out, but all is not lost. Nope, all is not lost. And I'm just going to cut strawberry up into pieces since it is a bigger piece of fruit. I should definitely make some strawberry shortcake this summer. What do you think, guys? Should I make some strawberry shortcake? Let me know in the comments section. And uh, I'll get more strawberries next week. And uh, oh, maybe I'll, over the weekend I'll do a uh, strawberry shortcake video. What do, you, what do you think, guys? You let me know. I also have a recipe for a delicious, I mean delicious, strawberry cake. It uses a juice from the strawberries. It uses the um, cut up strawberries. Everything is real strawberry. All right. And you know, I was just looking at these and I was thinking, darn, I could have made these for the 4th of July. So remember that, guys. You might want to save this video for, uh, you know, Memorial Day even or 4th for next year. A uh, cute treat that you could make. And I'm going to finish off with some more blueberries. So I did these two. I'll work on my other two. And uh, after you have them done, filled, as you want to have them filled, all you need to do, put a lid on them, guys. And put them in a freezer to chill for 
oh, roughly, I guess, hour, hour and a half. These can stay in the freezer for several days. And the reason I like making parfaits up in bulk is that a hot night, I want a bit of a sweet treat, don't want chocolate, I have something that is healthier. So this is what a parfait looks like after it's been in the freezer for two days. Really good. top of my mouth full. Remember guys, if you don't have fresh fruit, you can also use canned fruit with yogurt and honey grams. Make parfaits. Just make sure that you rinse off all of the sugary syrup that canned fruit comes in. You could use pineapple, um, mandarin oranges, pears, peaches, mixed fruit. You can make any kind of parfaits. Um, you could chill them in Dollar Tree has the little dessert glasses or you could get um, small containers like these. I know Dollar Tree has something similar um, to these. A couple of different ways you could go about doing them but definitely, definitely Take a few moments and make yourself a nice cool snack and uh, make several of them so you have enough for your family, enough for a night that you just want something light. Um, yeah, these will last a while in the freezer, definitely, but you know what? I don't think they'll last that long because I think they'll all be eaten. If you like this video, guys, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit my subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I will see you all on the next one. Bye.